we are in Pewter City. We had, we had to fight our way through many bug-collecting children to get here, but... Oh, definitely. Pewter Jim's... Pewter, Pewter Jim's Brock isn't like that. Oh, yeah, okay. So we have to go talk to the gym leader to... What do we have to do? Kill him and usurp his gym? Or what? How, how, what's the goal in Pokemon? <laughs> um, no, uh, your goal is actually to uh, beat all the gym leaders and collect their badges so you can go fight the Pokemon League and be the champion, etc. Um, so... You you do have to beat him, but it's it's definitely nothing like that. Like I said, it's just you, you get his badge, and you go on to the next town, get okay. another badge, etc. Okay. I know that D sounds boring. There's a point. <laughs> you want to know what I'm doing? <laughs> Strange little boy. That's right. It's hard work. <laughs> you You're just walking around in flowers. We well, were traipsing through a field of flowers, and that is supposedly hard work. What okay. A, besides, what a, and what a braggart, anyway. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Notice. Thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils from Mount Moon. Please call the Pewter Police if you have any information. What a bunch of assholes. So, like, ancient prehistoric Pokemon, then? Yep. You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. Hey, he's just dragging me along here. I, I didn't... Yeah, but you tried to leave town without going to the gym. How could you do that? <laughs> so like uh, you have to fight. You have to like, like once you enter the city limits, you have to f you're like you're just required to fight your way out. <laughs> Escape from Pewter City. <laughs> you have the right stuff. Go take on Brock. Do I have the right stuff? Uh, well, what level is your main? Pewter City Pokemon Gym. Here, Rock. The Rock Solid Pokemon Trainer. Who we have here? Okay, well there's oh well, there's okay there's L. Okay, so he's level twelve. L, the level five Caterpie. Uh huh. Um. J, the level six Rattata. J Beetle, the level seven Pidgey. Mm hmm. Cory, the level 12 Bulbasaur. Lizzie, the level 7 Kakuna. Mm -hmm. And okay, that's everybody. Okay, so uh, I'm going to tell you right now mm -hmm. that um, I, I guess I'm just going to refer to them by their names. Uh, Jade and J-Beetle are going to be completely useless here. Now, is that because of their level or because of like like elemental things? It, it's, because, it's because of their type, their normal type. Now, what type, what type are this Brock guy's creatures? Okay. Well, it said it on the sign. He's Rock type. Oh, there's Rock. Oh, that's a type. Okay. Yep. Which I've yet to encounter any of before, I think. And normal is weak to Rock. Uh, well, it's not even really so much that. It's that you know, normal type attacks don't really they're they're not effective on Rock types. Okay. And probably because of their level, about the about the only one that's actually going to be useful is probably Corey. the Bulbasaur. Yeah. Okay. Now, how many how many Pokemon will he have? Uh, just a couple. I mean, oh god, I think he has two. I mean, just a. Second. Well, maybe we could just wear him down by sheer numbers, just in like a human wave. <laughs> just in, like a human wave at him, at him you know. Well, see, that's the thing is that there's a, there's a couple of other like you know lesser trainers that you, that you have to fight before you get. To oh, he's, oh, he's got he's got minions. Okay. Yeah, he's got a couple. He's got goons. Yep. Let's see what items we have. Well, I guess we could always try it. I mean, it's it's not like this. It's not like this. I mean, it's not like we're playing like Darkest Dungeon, and you know, if our Pokemon die, they're dead. Right, right. And um, yeah, it looks like he does have two Pokemon, and uh, he has a level twelve and a level fourteen. Which, oh my. you know, doing those doing those couple battles before before Brock, he, you know, you should you should get to level fourteen. Do I have to do them all right in a row? 
No. Oh, okay. No, you can like you can like do one and leave. He'll come back. Oh, that changes too. things. Okay. Yeah. It's not like they lock you in or anything like that. Okay. Well, I mean, it seems like like they don't let you leave town until you can like. It, it's just this one, and it's mostly because you know, for like tutorial purposes, oh, okay. in case like somebody's never played one before and they don't know they have to go oh, okay. to the gym. Makes sense. Pewter City has a strict blood in, blood out rule. <laughs> Hiya. Do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Alright, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the left of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain in... Okay, well, this is this, this, like... We already... This stuff we do. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, you might want to change your... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Who should I lead off with, do you think? Um, uh, well, I mean... Like I said, about the about the only one that's actually going to be of you know, that's actually going to be effective against these guys is Bulbasaur. So. Oh, cool. Looks what? like he's only got the one. Well, they stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Well, you could have just asked <laughs> me to leave. You don't need to attack. You don't need to attack me. Oh, no. It's Liam. Not Liam. <laughs> Sent out Geodude. Go, Cory. Oh, well, Geodude is rock, I assume. Yes, he's rock and ground, actually, so Vine Whip will tear his ass up pretty good. Can I leech seed him? Um, you could, but I mean, I don't think you really need to. Well, that's true. Foe Geodude was seeded. Tackle. I would honestly say, like, uh, to, to keep leech seed for, you know, things that look like they're going to be a long battle. Okay. Because, you know, th I'm I'm pretty much sure that this is going to last, like, maybe a couple turns. Whoa! Yeah, Crit see? <laughs> it's super effective. Oh, so it was an elemental weakness and a critical hit. Okay, yeah, so but see, it's it's actually a double elemental weakness, because, like I said, he's rock and ground, and both of those are weak to grass. Oh, okay. So, so I just, like, literally just, like, tore him apart then. Pretty much. Like, that we flip hit him, and, like, he split in two, and there was just, like, a massive blood spray. <laughs> and this literally blood from a stone. Life. Oh, God. Wow, that's a lot of experience. Yeah. Yeah, gym battles are good for that. Camper Liam is about to use Sand Shrew. Okay, that's actually a ground type. Hmm, okay. You're still good. Oh, well, I can leave him in, I guess. Right. Yep, you're good to leave him in. It's like an armadillo or something. Yeah, it actually is. Okay. And he's dead. Yep. Perfect. Damn. Welcome to gym paddles where you have a type effectiveness. It's crazy easy. <laughs> Player defeated Camper Liam. Darn! Light years <laughs> isn't time. It measures distance. John got 200, <laughs> 220 Pokemon fun bucks for winning. Right. Oh yes, the Pokeland fun bucks. All right, sit down, Junior. <laughs> I, wait, I don't think there's any other goons. No, there's not. No? I thought there was two, but I, I must be misremembering. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. I like to imagine that th those aren't, like, like the caps from the game, capitalizing point comps, just screaming at us. <laughs> I'm Brock! <laughs> I'm Pewter's gym leader! <laughs> Jesus. My rock-hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. Oh, God. This guy's be careful. This guy's the, more, the more you struggle, the harder his willpower gets. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this, my Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. Oh. He keeps using that phrase. That's right. <laughs> my Pokemon are all the rock type. <laughs> Going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then. Show me your best. See how hard you are. <laughs> he didn't actually say that. Oh my god. Leader Brock would like to battle. 
So his Pokemon are all rock types. Does that mean he's gonna unleash Dwayne Johnson on you? That would be cool. That would be hilarious. And you'd still tear them apart with fine whip. <laughs> the, 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 the most uh, the, bleh, the most electrifying man in Pokey Pokey Entertainment. Oh God. So Rock is actually electric type, ironically enough. Oh, and there goes there goes Geodude. <laughs> yep. Killed in a single blow. See, told you you could do a little 14 for the other guy. <laughs> that Vine Whip just like like just went right through his carotid artery or something there. Pretty much, just nope, you're you're dead. About to use Onyx. I have no idea who that is. Uh, same typing. You'll see him. Yes. Wait, no. Because say, why are you changing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. You seem to be really tempted to change anyway. <laughs> I don't, if, if someone goes up, goes up, and then die, goes is beaten, do they still get part, part of the experience? No, if they die, they don't. But oh, if you don't. just like put them in, if you just like put them in for this first turn and then switch them back out, that'd be fine. Well, if I do that, then I lose a turn. Yeah. And, well, I'll keep Corey. In. Okay. Don't want to take any risk. Whoa! That's horrifying. Yeah. That's horrifying. He's a crazy huge rock snake. I'm gonna leech. I don't know how this would be a long fight. Just, just in case. Find. Squeezed. Oh, it's like a, it's like a boa constrictor or something. Kinda. But it didn't actually hurt me much. No, it doesn't. I'm back to full health now. Oh no! Bind. Oh, does Bind do continuing damage or something? Yeah, it does. It does for a few turns. All right. Ow. It's wow! A critical, another critical hit. Yep. Man, you're getting criticals out the ass. Oh, damn. So I've carved a bloody swath through this gym. Yep, in no time flat. Well, I was worried about nothing. It seems. Corey is trying to learn poison powder. But Corey, oh, cool. But Corey can't learn more than four moves. I need to move to my room for poison powder. This is, this, is, this is like Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne all of a sudden. Okay. <laughs> I don't recall getting much use out of Growl. No, nobody ever does. One, two, and... Yeah, when uh, when low-level Pokemon start learning actual, you know, type moves, moves that go with their, with their type, uh, Tackle and Growl or Tail Whip and stuff like that are always the first to go. Okay. Cory is trying to learn Sleep Powder. Oh my god. Is you can that, learn both. Is that, is that good too? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it it's pretty self-explanatory. It, you know, puts the puts the enemy Pokemon to sleep. Let's try it. It doesn't do any damage on its own, but it does, you know, like I said. Swap up. Put them to sleep. Tackle. Rock is dead. <laughs> well, well, okay, no. I took you for granted, and so I lost. My Pokemon are all flaccid now, and... <laughs> as proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. John received the Boulder Badge from Rock? Alright! So now we're like, we're officially certified as having defeated this gym. Yep. Just having, having the exactly Boulder Badge is. makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. So I got move 1400. Nice. Wait, take this with you. TM39. In the TM case. Technical machine. It's a technique for Pokemon. Using the TM teaches the move it contains two a Pokemon. TM is good for only one use, so when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock 2. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Which is... Oh my god. You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brock. I just crushed Brock. I'm your god uh. now. <laughs> oh, winning trainers. Nick, John. Oh, Nick has already been here? Damn it. Damn him. Yep. It's pretty funny because this is the exact kind of stuff that happens in the anime, too. Or, or the show, anyway. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah so, so when Ash, the, the main character, whenever he gets to a gym, it's always he's always one step behind the rival. No. Who is Ash's I rival? 
Huh? Who is Ash's rival? Oh, um, well, it's technically the the same guy as your rival in this. Oh, okay. Because, like, in, in this, you are Ash. Oh, okay. Well, I hadn't realized that. All right. So now we've been told to go to Cerulean. In keeping with the sort of recurring color theme of a lot of these towns. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, technically he's called Red, but it's, you know, it's the same character. Okay. Now, the game beat came before the show, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it did. Give me just a second, and I'll be able to tell you exactly when. Yes, yes, it's $50 for a child's ticket. Would you like to come in? Come into what? Where am I? Gotta figure out where I am first. Oh! Oh, okay, fine. I'll find out what... Okay, what did I just buy access to here? Some of those Pokemon fossils? Ooh, Aerodactyl fossil. Primitive and rare Pokemon. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. And there are actually points in the game where you can acquire one of these fossils. You can only get one of them. Cool. Kabutop. And then you can bring it and then you can bring it back here and get it wow. uh, revived, so to speak. Kabutop's fossil. Primitive and rare Pokemon. That apparently has scythes for hands. Yep. That's terrifying. I want a Pikachu! It's so cute! I asked my daddy to catch me one. Doesn't every kid want a Pikachu, <laughs> though? Yeah, Pikachu soon, I promise. So poor dad has to just go skulking through the grass, fighting wild animals until he can find a Pikachu and wrestle it into submission. Yeah, pretty much. 